One of the cool features of Reason Now is that you are able to slice up audio that you import or record. And this is essentially like having a copy of Recycle inside Reason, which is really amazing stuff. So let's have a quick look at how it works in practice. I'm going to just import an audio file. And I don't know what these are, but let's say... Uh... Yeah, that'll do it. I'm going to bring that in and it looks kind of normal to start with and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the little time stretching trick holding the alt key and then dragging the boundary so that my clip is snapped to the correct bar marker and then I'm going to just set up a loop around it. I'm also going to turn it down because I happen to know that this one is rather loud. So there's our loop. Now if I double click on the clip, you can see that it's been automatically sliced. If I zoom in, we do a bit of zooming in reason. Okay, there it is. And you can see that the software has essentially detected the transients in the clip. There are various different modes for slicing. All around is a good one to leave it on because it makes a pretty good guess about how to slice up your audio. If it happens to be melodic rather than rhythmic, you can choose the melody algorithm and also the vocal algorithm as well, if you like. I'm going to leave it on all around for now. So what I'm able to do now is I'm able to alter parts of this waveform like this without actually altering the length of the whole clip and without bouncing the clip out to do it in some other application. So let's say, for example, I wanted to just mess about with it. I can do this while stopped or on the fly, of course. And these transient markers obey the snap setting. So it's a good idea to leave the snap setting on. You don't have to. You can turn it off if you like uh, to have completely free movement of clips um, and of transient markers but I'm going to leave it set to, let's say 116 triplet is good because it means that your beat is unlikely to go wildly out of time, but you should get some flexibility with moving the beats around within the clip. So I'm just going to try moving a few of these around and see what it sounds like. And you can do it as it plays back too. change the snap setting to something more precise. So you can see how easy it is to mess about with the timing of audio clips, whether they're recorded or imported. Another thing that you can do is you can use the tool window, here it is, to quantize these slices. So I might, for example, want to, uh, let's say, change the quantization of this clip, but not too strongly. So I might set the amount to 75 and then I might snap it back into slightly more straight timing. And when I do that, you can see the transient markers all move. And I can keep going. Um, I could, for example, straighten it right up by changing it to an eighth and then apply that. And of course, you can always undo this by just going undo like that. You can use other MIDI style tricks on the clip as well. So you could um, half the tempo like that. Um, I wonder how that.
that sounds. Of course, that's extended the length of my loop, so I will have to change the settings. This might sound a bit odd. Good for experimental stuff. And again, even after I've done that, I can still mess about with the transients, and that is still obeying these snap settings here. And the thing about this is you can only use certain of the tools on it. So you can't, for example, use the Alter Notes tool. Um, and you can't use um, Velocity because they're not MIDI notes. But you can use certain tools. You can use Quantize. And you can also change the tempo of a clip. So let's have a quick look next at what to do with that clip once you've edited it. 